Welcome to VLSI lecture series. In this video, I'll be going to explain you JK flip lock in Verilog. So let us create first new project file over here. So I'm just creating new project over here in which I'm just giving JK underscore flip lock name to this new project file. And this file will get stored as per location. You can see it over here in location. Now, after that, I just need to press next and then some basic standard setting that we need to do here we have spartan 3 kit so i'm just taking that as a setting and then finishing that set setting after that i just need to create new source file so here i'm just creating new source file with file name and after that i'll be considering verilog module with this and once i press that I'll be having inputs and output with this new source file and as per JK flip flop here we have J and K as input. After that we need to have reset as input and clock as input and our outputs are Q and Q bar. So that is what I'm taking as output you can see over here. So once I do that I'll be having program file in which these are inputs and outputs as I have mentioned it over here in this source file so now we have inputs and output as per the mentioned source file so first i'll make register over here which will be storing data so here i'm taking register as q and qn which is our output now i'm going to initialize my output which is qn qn where here q that is what i'm taking as a data which is stored in the register but to initialize it somewhere there will be wire connection so i'm just taking that as 1 into b0 and qn that is always opposite to q so i'm taking as qn is equals to minus of q so that will be completely opposite to q now in this program we'll be having clock that is age trigger clock right so here what i'll be doing is i'll be considering age trigger clock by writing always at the rate in counts h trigger right so you will have to write p o s e d g e as h trigger clock over here and then i can initialize my program where i'll be making logic of jk flip flop now to make a logic of jk flip flop one should know the basic functioning of jk flip flop here i'll make it with respect to cases so here in JK flip flop here I'll be considering cases of conditions of input J and K where to create conditions of J and K first all I'll be doing is I'll be taking that 2 into B 0 1 means JK is 0 1 and at that time your output Q that has to be 0 so that is my first case now in second case all I'll be doing is I'll be considering 2 into B 1 0 where JK is 1 0 and output will be Q is equals to 1. So that is my second case. And in third case, I'll be writing 2 into B 1 1. So in that case, our output Q that will be opposite to Q n. Right. So previous data that will get inverted over here when J and K those are 1 1. So that is how cases are there and which is what making logic of JK flip flop over here. And you will be finding our output QN that is always minus of Q means opposite to Q. And that is how basic program that we need to create. Now let us save this program. And before we go for simulation, we should check whether there are errors or not. So first, I just need to verify that. So here I will be doing behavioral checking of syntax and i am finding there is no error regarding this so process is completed with behavioral check syntaxes over here right so this is what you will have to do every time when you make program now i am creating new source file in which again i am giving name and extension to that to have output so here to check output we need to have verilog test feature that we need to create first to get output and to get it plotted over here so now i have created it step by step you can see it over here if you have any query you just pause the video and in between that you can check it out right now this is what the file which we have where different cases that we are delivered to observe here only initial case 
that is been written where j 0 k 0 reset 0 and clock is 0 right but here all we need to do is we need to have fixed input and output and as per the working i just need to define it so here i'm just writing clock with begin and that will be less than equals to zero and then with the delay of 100 nanosecond i'll be providing clock to it so here you see clock is zero for 100 nanosecond and clock is one for another 100 nanosecond so this was regarding clock setting where clock is low for 100 nanosecond and clock is high for another 100 nanosecond now i need to provide cases for another inputs where another inputs were reset j and k so here i am just giving all the combinations which is there with all other inputs so to initialize that first i need to write initial begin and then i am writing reset is equals to some data j and k is equals to some data and all combinations that i am going to write over here so step by step i am writing all combinations so if reset is equals to 1 q is equals to 0 and qn is equals to 1 as per this first condition and after that another four conditions are there where reset is equals to 0 and j and k that is having j 0 k 0 j and k that will be j 0 k 1 j and k that will be j 1 and k 0 and then j and k that will be 1 1 right so i am writing all combinations over here with the delay of 100 nano second as per hashtag 100 that is written with all cases right so you see i have written all the cases as per i have told you so these are the probable settings that we need to do it to have exit output with respect to input and here we have defined clock also with age trigger clock right now all i need to do is I need to simulate that by having behavioral check syntax so i have checked it there is no error in this program so successfully it is completed you can observe it over here now i need to simulate that behavioral model so i'm just going to simulate it so after simulation you can see the waveforms right now i need to enlarge the waveform you can see so here first we have q and qn that is our output and j and k that is our input as well as reset and clock that is also our input so here first i have given the reset condition that is to make q is equals to 0 and qn is equals to 1 after that you see j and k value that i have changed with respect to clock and we can observe output and jk flip-flop truth table that you can verify it over here I have already explained JK flip flop in complete detail. You just go through that video to understand how J and K output is there. Here I am not connecting circuit. Here I am just making that truth table by writing program as per the setting in behavioral check syntax that you have seen it in our previous program. Right. I hope that you have understood this. So all the cases that we have verified over here and all those cases that you can check in JK flip flop working. I hope that you have understood this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. The reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future, I'll be making videos which will be solving your queries. So please do give your valuable suggestions.